Welcome back YouTube family, this is Sub-Zero Vlogs, back here with another video just for you guys. Man, I am so excited and so happy to share this video with you guys. I've had a lot of people asking me my recommendations of what I believe is best when it comes to either rev matching and downshifting or neutral breaking and breaking guys. Now I want to first preface this by saying this is only my opinion and how I drive my car. I drive a Subaru WRX 2015. So as you guys can see, I am simply cruising on the street in my 608. <laughs> Just playing. But anyway, guys, I also put a camera on the top right screen. That's going to be the exhaust note. I believe when you guys are first driving your car to learn to drive or driving in general, people aren't focusing on the feel and the exhaust note noise of the car enough. So I want you guys to be able to hear it exactly what I'm doing with my car. So right now, I'm in gear, guys. I see there's a light ahead of me. I want to take a right-hand turn. So what I'm going to do is show you guys, if you go into neutral, this is what happens. It's a green light, but I still need to go. So I'm gonna have to put it back in the gear to be able to go. Now personally, this is my preference, but any turning lane situation I'm in, I'm always in gear as much as I can. I'm in the proper gear, just in case I have to accelerate. That's just me personally. I like to make sure I'm in gear as much as I possibly can when I'm driving in my car. So I'm in fourth gear. As you guys can see, I'm coming up to a light. Now personally, if I'm in fourth, I'm gonna wanna hang out and wait to see if I'm gonna get to the light. And once I know I'm gonna get there, perfect, cool, I'll speed up. That's just kinda how I like to do it when I'm taking my time cruising. I don't wanna shift to fifth, and all of a sudden, you know, I have to downshift or a break. So again, another situation. A lot of people talk about how they wanna be in neutral here. They wanna be able to just coast. Now, you know, I personally, I'm not a fan of coasting like this in neutral. Now, again, a lot of people have their preference, but personally, I don't like this. I will go into neutral, but not just coasting this long. Like I said, any turning lane situation, I love to make sure I'm in the proper gear. And I'll get into why I like to make sure I'm in the proper gear when it comes to my cars. So I'm gonna speed up a little bit, as you guys can see. All right, so perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a left. I'm gonna show you guys brake situation. Um, so again, I'm gonna be in the gear. I'm in fifth gear right now. I'm in fifth. I'm simply gonna keep rolling, 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 and I'm braking. And now I'm gonna put the car in neutral. So I'm in neutral right now. You can wiggle that, you're in neutral. So what I like to do is not just uh, go in neutral a super long time, I like to engine brake and then go into neutral. So right now, I'm in third gear. So I'm in gear, I'm just gonna be braking, right? We're gonna roll, we're gonna roll, we're gonna roll. I'm still in third gear, but my speed is dropping, guys. Focus on the sound, the car, and the speed. Now I'm all the way, and now it's like, oh, well, shoot, I have to get in the right gear. So that's why I talk about, it's not so much as the rev match versus break. It's basically make sure you're in the proper gears for whatever you need to do. So right now, no situation, I'm engine braking, I'm in third. It's a red light. But if there was a green light, then I have to downshift. Sorry about that. Uh, there was some cars coming. I had to make sure I accelerated. Uh, but that's also just wanted you guys to hear the exhaust note. You know, if I had the camera there, I might as well give you guys a little something. Uh, but anyway, guys, we're just going to be rolling, cruising. As you guys can see, I'm coming up on the hill. I'm downshifting. Went from fifth gear to fourth gear. I mean, third gear, sorry. Now, third gear to second gear. So, as you guys can see, this is a downshift stop. Now, I'm neutral. Now, I stopped. Now, I know a lot of people like the sound of downshifting. I love it, too. And coming to a stop, they talk about, you know, how it's better for the car. In certain situations, it is, but you have to think of it this way. When you downshift and rev match, it's got to be like a perfect. It's like playing Guitar Hero or Dance Dance Revolution. You got to make sure you're doing it right. You got to match the speed of the tires and the engine perfectly. You got to downshift perfectly to make sure you're not putting as much wear and tear on your car. So I'm in fourth gear right now. I'm gonna go back to third gear. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. 
So I'm gonna show you guys a situation where this definitely makes sense. So I'm in fourth gear. I need to get over. I wanna take this right. I'm in third gear, I'm downshifting. I'm keeping my momentum on the car. Bam, I'm in second gear. I kept the momentum. So a lot of people talk about downshifting just to speed up. It's also a great way to make sure you keep the momentum and the flow being in the right gear of the car so you can accelerate at any given time. Any time in that situation, I could have accelerated and had the power band. You don't want to just break in the fourth or fifth gear and come to a stop and then need to accelerate. So I'm gonna show you guys another situation where uh, downshifting and keeping that momentum is key, guys. It's very, very key. So I'm in fourth gear right now. Third gear, I wanna stop. Second gear, oh wait, wrong stop. I'm still keeping the momentum. Third gear now, I keep going. Fourth gear. So as you see, when you downshift and you do it properly, you keep the flow. Everything is flowing together, there's no jerkiness, but at the same time, you can accelerate at any given time. So again, downshift, turn. I'm in second gear. Now I'm not gonna accelerate, because <laughs> there's a cop right there. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys the benefit of downshifting and rev matching is for those purposes, guys. It's not just speeding up. It's also to make sure that in any situation, you can have the ability to speed up. All right, so I'm going to go in neutral right here, guys. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys some more engine braking in uh, situations where I like to also engine brake and neutral brake as well. Um, so I'm going to go through this side street real quick and show you guys um, the fact that I like to be in gear. I like to go in neutral, so just in case, you never know what pops up. Wait, y'all, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but it's gotten dark so fast. Um, I've literally been filming for maybe like 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, if that. Um, but I wanted to show you guys just how dark it gets. It gets so dark fast over here. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to show you guys some situations more. So we see a red light right here, going into neutral. So in that situation where it's a roll kind of stop, I'll go into neutral when it's very, very close. Not like the entire time, but when I see everything is stopped in front of me, no one's around me, and I have a clear lane, then I'll go into the neutral. A lot of people go into neutral super early like this. Now, I personally am not a fan, again, going neutral this long, just because you're just floating. I call it floating. Um, I'd rather be in gear right here. So just in case it does turn green, you can keep going. But if you're a type that wants to go in the neutral that long and float that long, that's that's what you're gonna do. Now I know some states, I think it's illegal to go with that long and neutral, um, but personally, that's not my preference. But you see, it's a one lane right here. So I'm in neutral, so I'm coasting. So this is a neutral situation where I completely understand. Instead of going in neutral like I did before, I'm going to be just driving and I'm going to stay in gear and let the car roll. I'm in the proper gear, I'm not hurting anything, now it downshifted. So I'm going to do a downshift stop. Second gear. We're from third to second gear right there. Four, three, two. Neutral. Much cheaper to replace brakes than the clutch in an engine, guys. So it comes to this car, and it comes to these vehicles. You essentially everything has a plus minus. Uh, do you want to replace brakes? Do you want to replace a clutch? Do you want to, you know, sound good? Do you want to just be calm? Um, but ultimately, guys, it's up to you what you want to do. There's going to be benefits and negatives to everything when it comes to these cars. Um, anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Like the video if you guys liked the video. Hit the subscribe button to follow the journey. Like I said, guys, hope this video helps. Have a blessed day.